Hi everyone and welcome to today's video all about the Chase Bank High Interest Savings Account. They do offer a current account and a savings account and their savings account currently has the highest interest rate available for an easy access savings account. So I've tried the account so that I can give you a full review. So make sure to watch this video if you want to find out some more details about the account and then you can decide if you want to sign up for this account as well. If you like the video, don't forget to like it because it really helps out the channel. And also please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You can just hit the button down below. Let's get started. Also, the light is changing a little bit in today's video. The sun is coming in and out, so sorry about that, but hopefully it won't impact on the video too much. Let's get into the overview of the account and I'll let you know what they have on offer. Chase Bank is an American national bank that have an arm in the UK and they're currently offering some really attractive deals to encourage new customers. They're offering 1.5% interest on their savings account and also with that current account they're giving you 1% cash back on your everyday spending. So when you open a savings account or if you want to open a savings account with Chase Bank then you go onto the app and basically it will set up a current account for you as well. So basically you'll get the current account and the savings account so you have access to both. So a little bit more about the savings account which is what you're here for. Well the savings account has 1.5% interest which is the highest interest rate available at the moment for a easy access savings account so that's really great. The savings account is easy access so you can pay in money and withdraw money whenever you like with no fees. You can save up to £250,000 in your saving account or across your savings accounts if you open more than one with them. Interest is calculated daily and paid monthly. Another great thing is you also get 5% interest on roundups as well. So if you're spending money on your debit card somewhere, then the bill will be rounded up to the nearest pound and then all the savings that you make from that will gain 5% interest. So that's another way to get a little bit more interest on your cash. I think that's a really nice feature. And then you also get your 1% cash back on your everyday spending in your current account as well. There are no fees to use your debit card abroad either. And you can also add as many savings accounts as you like, which I think is another really nice feature that I'll talk about a little bit later on. They were also doing a refer a friend program where you and a friend would get £20 free when you sign up. I'll double check if that's still going ahead and if it is, I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's get into my review of the account. So first of all, I'll talk through all of the pros that I found with this account. The first pro is that it's really easy and quick to open and set up your account. So you just need to download the app. I'll show you what that looks like here. Download the app, enter your details, then you upload a selfie, so a photo of yourself, and you also upload a photo of your ID, a few more details about yourself. It's actually really quick. The, only, the process only takes a few minutes. The application process takes less than five minutes to do, and it's really easy and quick. The biggest pro with this account for me, other than the high interest rate, is the ability to set up multiple savings accounts like POTS so that you can save into an account for your emergency fund and then another one for holiday or whatever it might be. You can set up separate savings accounts for each one. I really like that feature and that's what drew me to Chase Bank in the first place was because I was actually looking for an account where I could do that and they offer it. I really like that and I also like the fact that it sets you up a separate savings account for each pot or each goal that you choose. So that means that basically you can actually save directly into that account from your current account, which is really nice. So that way you don't have to manually move the money when you put your money into the savings account. You don't even have to manually put it into a, one of your goals. You can actually save directly into that account, which is really nice. And I like the ability to create different goals and track your progress as well. So you can set what your goal is for each account and then track your progress towards that account as well, which is really cool. I think this is a really great feature. If you, like me, are looking for an account where you can have multiple savings pots, then I really recommend it. The app as well is really easy to use and navigate around, so that's a great pro as well. 
Other pros of the account are the high interest rate on the savings account and the fact that you get your roundups on your everyday spending and your cash back on your everyday spending as well if you're using the debit card. So those are some really nice features of the account. Now for the cons. I haven't found many cons at all with this account. The only con that I've found so far is the fact that because they do seem to be getting a lot of applications at the moment, I think it can take a little bit longer for your application to process. So like I said earlier, it did only take about an hour for my application to process and then I could get started with my account. But I think at the moment it might be taking a little bit longer. Um, if you do sign up now, you might be held in a waiting room for a little while. So that's something just to bear in mind. You might have to wait a little bit longer to start using the account. But if you're signing up now, it means that you'll be able to get started soon enough. So I suggest really just get started. If you do want to open the account, just get the app, get signed up, and then you'll be ready to go soon enough. That just seems to be a problem at the moment, at the time of filming this video. It seems to be a lot of people signing up, but I'm sure that won't be a problem in the future. Another small con that I've found when it comes to saving money into this account from another bank is that you can't link your bank account. So it does mean that you do need to manually put your savings account details into your banking app before you can transfer money over for the first time. So it's not seamless as if it's linked with your bank as some apps like Chip offer. But to be honest, as long as you get your details set up, then it's quite easy to transfer money over. But it's just a small con. It might be something that they consider in the future. But to be honest, as long as you make your first save from your bank account to your savings account, then you've got your details set up and then it's quite easy to do that. So it's literally just a small con, something that they might consider in the future. That's it for the cons. I've really been impressed with this account from what I've seen. It's a really user friendly app. You've got your high interest rate. You've got the ability to set up multiple savings accounts. I really like it. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. Now my final thoughts. I think it's an easy to use app. You've got the ability to set up multiple savings accounts and you can name them for different goals. It has the highest interest rate for easy access savings around at the moment. So it's the highest interest rate of the accounts that let you deposit and withdraw money whenever you like. And that's 1.5%. It has nice cashback and roundup offers. If you're going to be using the current account, it's another way to boost your savings. So overall, I think it's a really good account and I recommend it. That's it for today's video, all about the Chase Bank High Interest Savings Account. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like and also be sure to subscribe if you do want to see more videos from me. Thank you for watching and see you next time.